Hey guys and gals, it's Christopher Mosher from MyMediaHelper.com. Yes, I'm laying in bed. I do my best work. <laughs> I just lay here. Sometimes I got the TV on and uh, just, just type away, do my websites away there in the comfort of my bed. Um, so anyways, I'm, I looked up a couple of sites this evening and this is the error uh, I'm getting. I'm just going to go ahead and, and show you how to correct this. This site error, I, I on QPHP loader install. I mean, if you go to this, it's um, I'm assuming it encodes uh, later versions of PHP. Um, so f I just updated all my PHP for each of my websites and I'm going to get into there to see, I think it was like seven, 7.4 7 to eight point, whatever, whatever. We'll see you in a minute. So this site's fine. I updated all these sites. This site is, this site is fine. Um, this site is not, and this site is not. And the only um, variable that I can think of is both these sites have WooCommerce. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it and it needs some type of encoder for WooCommerce to talk to, to PHP or what. I don't know 100% what's going on. All I know is how to fix it. So let me just get into get into your host if that's what you're getting. Uh, mine is Host Monster, as you probably know if you follow this site. So let me just get into this real quick. And what we're looking for to get into is the cPanel. So um, while I'm doing this, you can do the same. And I'm assuming um, this is the same with all cPanels, meaning you can get into this through all cPanels. They just updated my cPanel uh, to it looks like a newer interface, newer version perhaps. And then what I do is just um, go here. That's control F for fine. So these are databases. Don't want to go to database. Um, software multi P. Yeah, this is what I want to be at is the multi PHP manager under software. So as you can see, I updated all the sites um, to 8.2 PHP. So what I'm going to do is T or not TB. And then my good doggies, which are both e-commerce sites and have WooCommerce in it. That's the only thing distinction I can think of. Uh, I'm gonna try 7.4. Actually, I'm gonna experiment a little bit. Let's put in 7.4, it's the PHP version for both of those. So if we go back to these sites, they should be working now. All right, and then I can go into the admin and then update them. Do, 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 do. So there's my good doggies. And I'm going to update these and see and change the versions around and see what happens. I'm curious for a couple things. So let's play around here in this video, shall we? Let's go back to my good doggies. Let's put that eight, just eight zero and see what happens. Maybe it's just the seven version or maybe it's a higher version of eight. I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So anything in PHP 8 is going to do that. So let's put this back to seven, um, seven, four. I have both these at seven, four. All right, let's go into, um, just for poops and giggles, as long as we're making a video, as long as we're all friends and laying in bed together, <laughs> we, might, we might as well do this. Let's update this WordPress site. And um, I haven't been on here in a while. So I'm gonna update my plugins. Let's all this update now. Are you sure you're ready? Uh, sure, why not? I haven't updated this site in a long, long time. I should play around with it and work on it. And just there's so many hours in the day, you know, you want to do so many things. Um, sure, I'll install now. Briefly unavailable. Okay, that's just because it's updating the plugin. Okay, well, that's doing it on the T site. Let's get into my good doggies and see what's going on with that. Do, do, do. Briefly and available schedule maintenance. Check back in a minute. Okay, I'll check back in a minute. And then we're going to get into my good doggies and we're going to upgrade that. And hopefully it's hard coded and I don't have to remember the password. Um, no, email is correct. And yeah, I don't think I've probably a year, if not more, I haven't got into these things. I mean, look at the updates. These things wait. I need to do auto updates um, where these do it on their own. Um, that's my bad. So we'll update um, version 6.3 for WordPress while wow, it's at 5.8.7. All right, so I went ahead and I updated everything um, in each of the individual uh, admins. I should be coming up online again. And then I did go back. Once I updated everything, just for shits and giggles, I did go back and change the PHP back to 
what did I say? Eight points, whatever the other, eight point two. It still get the same error. So um, both WooCommerce sites. I even went to um, what's this other one here? Sound of Tomorrow, which is a really old site. I haven't been on in a long time. Uh, this popped up. It's not a WooCommerce site. It popped up just fine, and I updated the PHP version. So the only thing I can think of is there's there's something with uh, WooCommerce and um, that error and whatever this thing is, this uh, PHP encoder. So if you are getting this error and you do want to upgrade this, um, <clears throat> you can just try now and basically just put in your information on there, and then um, they'll send you an email. And depending if um, if you're hosting the server or if you're paying a monthly subscription to the server, as long as you've got, uh, if you can get to like file manager, if you can FTP it, uh, you should be able to update this. So here's the email that you'll get. And um, you'd want to go down to this link here where it says loaders. Now, if you've got, obviously, if you've got your server going, you know what, um, what it's on, what your server's under. But um, if you happen to have, I have host monster, so I'm not really sure, right? So um, I'm just going to click on this, and it's going to recognize, it's going to try to recognize what version uh, you need for that particular server. So only updates that affect, oh, let's see, keep updated. We notify you important information. Um, no, you don't need to do that, but um, all right. It's going to download this loader wizard here. And as you can see, I already downloaded it and tested all this already. <clears throat> there it is from yesterday. I was playing around with it last night. And then um, what you can do is just grab, there's only a couple files in here. You can grab these and just bring them over here. Put them on your desktop just for easy access. And then for me, I'm just going to use FTP. But again, if you can get into your file manager, you can do the exact same thing I'm doing here. And you want to go to your root directory uh, where your main site is. So, <clears throat> excuse me, that's mymediahelper.com. And then um, you just want to drag the PHP file over. And then it's um, loader wizard. So let's get back to here. Let's bring up my website, um, my media helper. And then we want to go loader wizard.php. That should bring it up. All right, and it's just kind of detecting what you have and what it's needed. So to use files that have been protected, blah, 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 come and call that kind of loader must be installed. This wizard will give you information on how to install. All right, so um, for example, shared. So name of your hosting provider is HostMonster. Um, URL of your hosting provider. I'm assuming that's what they want. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, and then we're going to hit next. And then let's see. I unloader version PHA is already installed. An encoded file should run without problems. Peace contact script provider, which would be my um, person who controls my server, uh, host monster, obviously. If you experience any problems running code for security reasons, we advise you to remove this wizard script from your server now that you that ion loader is installed. Bonus features this ion loader can also give real time. Intrusion protection, PHA error reporting, blah, blah, blah. These features are disabled by default, but can easily be activated. And then you can continue down that rabbit hole if you wish. I don't need to. So I did update. Um, still get an error, but it's due to the theme um, that I, I, I changed the theme and I'm not getting any errors. It's fine. I can go to, PA, I can go to PHP 8.1, uh, 8.2 and be fine. Um, it's, it's the theme because I don't have a license anymore for the theme. It ran out in 2019, I think. So I can't get updates for the theme. So that's the issue I'm having as far as I'm concerned. As long as you got updates, um, going and everything, you should be fine. So I'll probably figure out what I want to do with that. But, um, uh, that's how you go about and correct that error. I hope this is all uh, very helpful for you. Um, I don't know. I didn't really see a video out there for this stuff. So uh, hopefully this is helpful. And um, I will, I will uh, wish you a good day. <laughs> I got to go to the DMV and renew my license. All right, guys and gals, please subscribe if you could. Uh, please like, please share, hit the bell, and uh, help me get up to 1,000 subscribers. I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much. I'll catch you later.